Kaylee, you're a Trump supporter. So, so first of all, just the image here, that association of Donald Trump with something that for, for many evokes memories of Adolf Hitler. Is, is that a fair association? I don't think it's a fair association. Look, this is something fun he does with his audience. And unfortunately, we see Hitler comparisons all too often in politics. Reagan was compared to Hitler. Esquire magazine compared him to Hitler. An L.A. cartoonist depicted him as such. Uh, and we see this with Obama. I've seen conservative radio talk show hosts compare him to Hitler. Unfortunately, it's become a go-to comparison. I think it's irresponsible. I think it's unethical. This is a genocidal maniac that killed 11 million people. To compare any American politician to Hitler is unacceptable. But, but let's set the Hitler comparison aside, because it's the positions, right, that, that, that draw this comparison, if not to Hitler, to authoritarian leaders, you know, changing libel, law, libel laws, telling soldiers to, to disobey the law, uh, forcibly deporting 11 million people. It, that's the substance behind the comparison, whether it's Hitler or not, it, it's, it's those kinds of positions that, that lead some to say, wait a second, this is, this is un-American. Mary Catherine, I, I want to turn to you because uh, talking about the broader effects on the Republican Party, how much does this, does it tarnish the other GOP candidates to some degree to have the, 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 the Republican front runner with these kinds of comparisons? Well, I don't have to go there on the comparisons and I don't want to go there on mm -hmm. the comparisons, but you can talk about this and just say, well, that was a creepy authoritarian moment mm -hmm. on the campaign trail. That's okay. I mean, and it's something that uh, if Obama did it, it would creep me out, and it creeps me out when Trump does it. So that's a that's a sort of blanket uh, statement you can make without having even to go to the comparisons. But I think these things make a candidate vulnerable when they speak to the vulnerability of the narrative that that candidate already has. And these are the positions you talk about, which are the Muslim ban and these things that, as Kaylee points out, he's clarified at other times, or maybe if you look at the details, they're slightly different. But the problem with Trump is that he operates on his gut often first and then he'll look up the details later. If his gut leans toward comfort with authoritarian positions, that's a problem.